Hi, I hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw from the title of this video, we're going to be playing with a lot of new makeup from my two recent massive drugstore hauls. I did a whole Shamus A drugstore haul, which is going to be down below, and also just a other drugstore haul, including a lot of stores, Walmart, Ulta, like everything. So we are going to be using a couple fun products today. A lot of things to play with, but the most important one is the She Glam Hint of Mint palette. I'm so excited for you guys to see what I think of these products. So if you want to see again what I picked out, what products are going to be favorites and what products were fails, just keep on watching. But before that, don't forget, if you like drugs and makeup, go ahead and stick around, subscribe, maybe hit the bell so you're notified when I write upload. And if you can like the video, if you like it, and the video is going to start right now. when i tell you it is hot girl it's hot it is so hot today so you guys are gonna hear my fan on full blast it is what it is and now you guys might hear it a little louder because i meant to address this in a different video but i haven't been putting music in my videos because it's been getting copy written or it's like copy written music apparently according to youtube so i have to find another track to put in the background of my videos but if not it's fine i'm just gonna do videos with no music and i hope you guys don't mind so let's just jump right in and first off we're gonna be using the new product from my shamase video and this is the starry sexy lips lip plumping tint situation and this one is in 04 so let's see how this goes <laughs> i'm kind of scared you just never know with um, lip plumping products what's gonna happen so All right so apparently i forgot to bring a brow pencil i brought about oh my gosh i brought a couple brow products but i didn't bring a brow pencil which is very important for me because that's what i use to outline my brows but we're just gonna go with it i'm gonna go ahead and take my city color this is their be bold brow soap this is such a good product i have really been enjoying it it's so good so i did also bring this product also from my shamase video and this is the amuse ombre brow kit and i don't know why i forgot my brow pencil because i usually use a brow pencil with these products anyway but we're just gonna roll with it i'm gonna take a brush i'm gonna go ahead and start filling in the brow I also have this product also from Chamasse and this is a gold brow. It's a brow fiber gel and it looks like a deep shade. I think I got dark brown. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw this over top and hopefully kind of fixes them a bit. All right, for eyeshadow today, we're going to be going in with the She Glam Hint of Mint palette. I've been dying to use this palette. It's so cute. I love the shades on the inside as well. And then the names are on the back of the palette. These are the shades we're going to be working with today. So hopefully it goes well. Let's hope the formula is better than the other She Glam palette that I have. And then we also have a couple other items. I have the Amuse um, Liquid Diamond Illuminator. And this is in the shade Perfect Storm. I thought it would go so well on the lid. I also have a couple other items to play with. So let's see what happens. Right, so a couple things happened when I went off camera. First of all, I threw on some of the Ellie Colors eye marker in blue. I made it work, but it still kind of sucks. Um, I also threw on a, a little bit of the pearl liner from Romantic Beauty in the shade 08. I tried to throw on some of this um, AOA Studio Hyper Lash Fiber Mascara, and honestly, I'm so disappointed. It's such a weird product it's like a fiber mascara i've never had one of those but it's basically just a spoolie with a bunch of little hairs on it like it has no product on it when you're throwing it on there's it just feels like it's touching your lashes it's not doing anything so i'm really disappointed by this and i had to get up and go get my mascara that's in my shami stash also i was a little disappointed by this i tried to throw some of this over top the shimmer that i put on the lid which is the amuse illuminator that i told you guys about and it just like didn't even show up it didn't do anything so that was a little disappointing and then i wanted to do my brows so i got up and got my other brow pencil and i noticed that i had this right next to me i didn't even notice this is the new amuse um brow pencil that i purchased for my shamase haul so i just ended up throwing some of this on and i feel a lot better about my brows they were just looking a little just a little weird with all the makeup that's going on i went ahead and threw on some of the aoa studio lashes in the style soul and now we're going to move on to face so i have a couple primers i do have a new primer from amuse and this is their 
color correcting face primer radiant glow and it's anti redness so we're gonna see how this works now i'm not really like i don't really battle a lot of redness unless i touch my face this smells so good and i just really like the primers so i'm like why not purchase another one because i really like their peach corrector it's really nice also smells so good it's even helping mattify my skin just a little bit i'm also going to throw on some of my shot my stash primers which is the elf blurring primer serum and the la colors one as well i also have some other products from my shop my stash including the you can be foundation this is so good i can't tell you guys how excited i am that i chose it for shop my stash i love this product it's so good right as you can see it is such a good foundation i am in love with it it is so affordable as well next i'm going to go ahead and take some of these starry sculpt and contour um it's like a highlight slash contour product it's really interesting it comes with a cream bronzer as well as a powder highlight so i'm just going to take a brush and kind of draw this on oh this shade is pretty light not sure if i like this shade for my skin tone it's pretty kind of caramelly on the skin it's not really providing any darkness you know in those areas that we want bronzer or contour um but i think it's okay it's kind of providing a little bit of bronze but i feel like this shade in particular um in the shade i don't know i'll have the shade down below or the name of it it would work better for somebody with a lighter skin tone because on my skin it kind of disappeared so no cream blush today but i do have a cream highlight and this is a dewy cream highlighter in the shade opal from aoa studio grab some on the side of my sponge and i think i grabbed a little too much oh that's actually that's nice Kind of like a dual chromey pink to white shift. Next, taking the concealer that's in my Shop My Stash, which is just a City Color Full Cover Flawless Concealer. I use mine in the shade Medium 2. It is just a little light. All right, next, going in with the She Glam Mystic Contouring Palette. And I haven't used this in such a long time. It is from the Shein website, and it comes with six shades. So I'm going to use just one of these to set the under eyes. Next, taking my Beauty Creations Press Foundation in the shade 11.0. This has been working so well for me. I love it. So glad that I chose it for Shawn My Stash because it literally just, just makes the foundation look even more flawless. Next, I'm taking another new product and this is the Amuse 2-in-1 Blush and Bronzer. And I believe this one's in 02. I'm going to take the bronzer side. Hopefully, these work. oh my gosh what is going on here next going into the blush All right i went ahead and finished the lower lash line also threw some of my pixie highlight in the inner corner this is such a good highlight i just haven't used it in a long time i have been loving throwing highlight like this just on the brow bone next taking the ellie colors auto lip liner and this one is in the shade what shade are you cafe next taking the liquid lipstick from my hot topic set i've actually talked about this in my liquid lipsticks video i love this but it's just uncomfortable so i do wear it with a gloss i'm gonna take some of the beauty creations and marillo collab lipstick and lastly taking the ulta beauty lip gloss in nude just to throw over top all right guys so this is the final look let me know down below what was your favorite product from today's video now we're gonna get into my thoughts let's just get the products that kind of sucked out of the way first of all the amuse liquid diamond highlight now i am going to give the other ones a try because there's a bunch of other shades that i purchased but this one here just was a little disappointing it didn't show up at all it was just you know i had high hopes for it and it kind of let me down so that's the reason i'm just not the biggest fan of that right now um the other one is the awa hyper lash honestly i had high expectations for this as well and it let me down just like a spoolie with a bunch of hairs on it and honestly like i understand that there's mascaras that put like the fibers i've heard they're amazing but this is literally like it wasn't doing anything it just felt like it was touching my lashes it wasn't even leaving little hairs on them honestly let me know if you own this product how do you use it do you like it do you not like it i just kind of felt it was a weird product and it was a little disappointing because 
didn't really do anything products that were like meh in the middle was the starry uh, lip plumping situation i think this was okay it felt really nice on the lips i didn't really feel any tingling at all it was just kind of like a lip serum just was on the lips didn't really do any there, there was no difference with this product so i think this was an okay product it wasn't horrible but again it just didn't really do anything the other product that was just kind of okay was the starry um, highlight and contour situation the uh, cream side is just a little light for me and i feel like this is going to work great for somebody with a lighter skin tone but for me i know i'm not going to reach for this a lot and then swatching out the highlight it is such a thin formula i don't know how much i'm actually going to reach for this product so i was like kind of in the middle with this product it wasn't horrible but it also wasn't great products that i really did enjoy the aoa studio go brow was good the amuse brow pencil i really enjoyed this is a product that's really easy to get blocky brows with so you do have to be careful with it and it's also really creamy it's kind of like in the middle it's not too creamy and it's not too dry so i really enjoyed that that was really good i really really enjoyed the palette the shades in here blended so well i love the deeper tones and i love the look that we created such a good palette definitely check out she glam on the shein website they have so many cool looking palettes so this of course i was a big fan of and i also love the one that i chose opposed to the last one that i purchased from she glam i was really disappointed this one here is definitely worth it this one was really good the amuse 2-in-1 blush and bronzer was interesting now it did kind of stick to the area where you put it and it's just like a glob of pigment but when you blend it out it does blend into the skin so i really enjoyed both sides of this product so good so worth it the amuse primer i felt smells really good now did it do anything extraordinary for my skin not really but it smells good and it feels good on the skin so this i really enjoyed the amuse ombre brow situation was really good as well so overall i feel like everything we used today worked so well except for a couple products that i mentioned earlier but everything looked so nice let me know again what was your favorite product from today's video what do you think of the look that i created and are you going to be picking anything up from the she glam website and with that we made it to the end so we made it to the end i hope you enjoyed watching as much as i enjoyed filming this video today everything that i talked about all the names of the prices are going to be down below as well as any videos that i mentioned throughout this video or videos that i uploaded last week don't forget to upload three times a week on tuesday thursday and sunday so if you could stick around that would be amazing i have my insta handle displayed on the screen i post a lot of makeup finds from drugs at a high end so if they're interested go ahead and follow me there it'd be so amazing if you could like and subscribe of course you don't have to you're your own person and make your own decisions but it wouldn't hurt to give this video a like and i'll see you guys on the next one bye